that she needs something special to win that event. Here's the lineup for the under 20 girls long jump. Tamara Dorval of Haiti, Janae Degans, the favorite of Trinidad and Tobago, Amelie Poncherie of French Guiana, Marie Maria Duranti of Martinique, Naomi Pierce of Trinidad and Tobago, Shania Thomas Barbados, Koi Adeli of Bahamas, Ocean Saint Hilaire of Guadeloupe, Richelle Standard, the Triple Jump Champion, Jamaica Ali of Vanukia, Guadeloupe, Lanesha Lubin, Bahamas, Rifka Godi of Curacao, Aisha McMaster of the British Virgin Islands, and Rohana Sodlo of Jamaica. The championship record coming into this 6.48 meters uh, set by Yanis Davids. Well, that's no more. Janae Degans coming in here with a tremendous reputation, and she has. Oh, this is a high jump performance. And, uh, and the high jump on the 20 girls final is also taking place. Kenisha Shelbourne, we just saw clearing there. Yeah, bronze medalist last year. And I'm pretty sure we'll get to that as well as we will uh, get to what's going on in the long jump final for under 20 girls, where I can confirm for you that Jeanne de Ganza set a new record, six point five zero meters terrific performance coming earlier Shelburne already of course with a triple jump under 20 silver medal we saw her clearing there a little while ago 1.70 the height on uh, the high jump but they are of course reconfiguring the field in the javelin throw the bohemians will now go last and next to last as the two best throwers just before them will go zoel jamel of jamaica right now sitting in that bronze medal position Charles has looked good thus far. Curiel setting a new personal best. Now we're with the yeah long jump long final jump. for the under twenty girls. And that's competitor one nine seven Rivka Godi of Curacao. She gets the white flag, will get legal measurement. Yeah, second round of this competition. And that tells you that uh, Degans means business. 18 years old this year, we'll be looking at uh, AJ McMaster, British Virgin Islands. Competitor 176 McMaster comes in with the best of 5.40. The new championship record 6.50 meters. Good efforts. Waits for her to exit the pit, gives it the white flag. The only time you'll see the red flag going up immediately is if the athlete has uh, overstepped that white board. You see the little strip there at the bottom, past the scene. If it leaves an imprint, then the athlete does not get a legal jump. Roshana Sadlow of Jamaica. She's on the runway, gets ready. Her second round jump. Yeah, Alia Vanuki of Guadeloupe has gone on to 5.71 meters. She is uh, currently in third position. 572 for Pierce of Trinidad and Tobago. Jamaica's Stanley at 557 behind the Bohemian Koi Adderley, who is at 567. And now the second Jamaican, Rahana Sodlow. And uh, 
She is looking for something close to six meters here, Sodlo. Sodlo very close to a six meter jump at her best. Two championship records already going down this morning, both events still in progress. Yeah, she has gone over six meters three times this year, Sodlo. Two of them wind assisted though, and does have a 621 lifetime best, which was done in February, coming off the Jamaican High School Championships, where she won in her category with a 637. But that was wind assisted with 2.8 behind her. This time class 5.89 meters, so moves into second place, I make it. Yeah. Samara Dorival of Haiti, based in the United States. No relation, I don't think, to Dudley Dorival. <laughs> Back to the top of the order for the long jump final for under 20 girls and this is the start of the third round business round this one 14 young ladies entered in this one so she will certainly want to make an impression advance for three further attempts that little Dorival great Haitian athletes This is the record holder, the leader in the competition. What an outstanding talent she is, Janaid Gans. One of seven Concord athletes in the Trinidad and Tobago team. Let's see what she delivers here in the second round. Already an amazing start from round number one. There's the Gans. Oh, that's another big effort. Chumps onto the pit with an expectation that she is at least once again well over six meters. Coming off a fine 2023 season, won the NACAC under 18 title, won the national title as well in Trinidad and Tobago. And I came in here with a personal best of 625. And she has added 25 centimeters onto that. Six point four zero showing tremendous consistency here, Janeda Gans. Followed by Amelie Pulcheri of uh, French Guyana. The Gans back in 2017 at the NACAC combined events competition injured her knee and she said she was disappointed, Ricardo, because she felt that she wanted to do her country proud. I think she's more than making up for that at the moment. Third round of the long jump. Durante of Martinique there. To be followed by this young lady. Pierce, Trinidad and Domingo, Naomi Pierce. Five, three, seven. Five. 5.37 for her. Here's 5.72. She's within striking distance. Looking to get amongst the medals here. It's 
Still a ways to go to catch up with the compatriot, the Gans. New record holder. Comes down the runway. That's a good one. Must be consistent approaching that six meter region. Came in with a 5.46 meter mark to her credit. Point six four for her. As we now have a look at Shania Thomas of Barbados, five forty four in round one. <coughs> just on time, the Barbadian journalist and more Goodridge boys just stepping into the shutters. Shania Thomas goes flying into the pit and gets the white flag. Yeah, second round of the long jump for under 20 girls final. Number 293 there, Ocean Centilla. Yeah, make that round three of the long jump final for under 20 girls being led by the Trinbagonian. Janae DeGans with a 6.50 opening round effort, 6.40 in the second round. And we're getting close to midway the third round. Centurel lost out in the triple jump under 20 girl place to fourth on count back. Yeah, and Dejane Bruce of Jamaica. Bruce in action over in the high jump, but here's Centurel. Yeah, let's just get that right. It is round number two in the long jump for under 20 girls final. Degans leading 650 in the opening round, 6.40 in the second round. And we are getting close to the midway point. Well, we are now beyond the midway point of this second round. There is Rochelle Stanley of five, two, eight. Jamaica 528 five, two, for St. Hilaire of Guadeloupe. And now Stanley, triple jump winner earlier in the championship. About half of these athletes will essentially, well, half of these athletes will be fighting for one spot. Eight spots in the final. There are 14 of them. Six will be eliminated after round three. Diori Scott passed in the fourth round of the javelin throw final for girls. Camara Strong chasing her 42-53. Well done on what she requires as Rochelle Stanley runs all the way through in the second round of the long jump final. Yeah, triple jump the champion earlier this weekend. In the under 20 division, Rochelle Stanley. 5.57 meters in round number one. She is good enough to be in the top eight at this stage, but she wants a lot more. Here is Alia Vanukia, 571 in the opening round. Vanukia in fourth position at this stage, looking for an improvement. Gets the white flag, the Guadeloupe athlete. Four six, eight. Four, six, eight. That won't do her any good. And she does have that 571, which should be good enough to get her into the final eight. Lanesha Lubin. Okay. Right. Lubin from the Bahamas. Jump as far as 5.92. Seek support from the fans. Right. 
Dubin with her second round effort. Dubin well down in the triple jump. Earlier this weekend, she was seventh. Five, yeah, that three. was a disappointment five, for her as she gets the 5.83 meters, moves into third in the long jump final, second in the triple jump final at home in the Bahamas last year. And so she came here with high hopes in that event, but wasn't able to deliver a medal for a second consecutive games. But here she is in the long jump, moving into medal contention. Good of uh, Kurosawa. Curacao's Rivka Cody, and she runs through on her second attempt. Like something there. She doesn't get that back. That counts as a fall. 558 in round one for Cody, so still has a great shot of making it to the top eight and has one more round to come. Aisha McMaster of the British Virgin Islands. 4.89 in round one. She is so much better than that. McMaster. Well, she'll want to show her class right now and confirm her place in the next round. Looks like an improvement, but not a significant one. We'll get the measurement momentarily. Five point zero nine for her. Yes, it is an improvement, but that will not be good enough to get her into the top eight. And now, competitor four zero two, all of Jamaica, Rohana Sodlo, attends St. Catherine High School, the same school that Julian Alfred went to. Your world indoor champion in the sixty meters. St. Lucia's first global gold medalist. Never had a medal at the Carifta Games. Hmm. Competed at the Carifta Games, I think, uh, twice or three times. Never had a medal at the Carifta Games. That's shocking. But interesting. now stat. a world champion. Here's Rohana Sodlo for Jamaica. 5.89 in round one. That looks good for the Jamaican. Challenging the six-meter mark, I think, with that effort. I do believe so. And she gets the white flag. Let's see what the mark is on this one for Sodlo. Three times she's been over six meters this season. Twice it was wind assisted. Six three zero. Six point three zero. If that is wind legal, that is a lifetime best for Rohana Sodlo. Had a wind assisted 637 at the Jamaican High School Championships. So she knows she is in terrific form. 